What is up guys? Okay, so I figured since everybody else is doing it, I'll do it too because guess what? I I would like to follow the trend, alright? So, I don't know if you can see his car behind me here, but we're gonna do 10 things I hate about my car. Alright, so I broke the shit out of my tripod somehow last video. Uh, don't know how I did it, but I fucking did it. So, I guess I'm just gonna be holding the camera here. The first thing, and the most important thing that I hate about this car is, you just, just look at it, how, mu how much miles per gallon do you think it's supposed to get? How many highway miles per gallon do you think it's about to, you're supposed to get? I don't know either. But, I tell you what it's getting is 11 miles a gallon. Now that shit, like, I can go through half a tank in maybe three days, three and a half days, something like that. I know this is my first car, but that guy's mileage is fucking terrible. Another thing that is terrible about this car is I, just, I put these new headlights in because they said that if you get new headlights, it, it'll make the car take, it'll take 100,000 miles off the car if you put new headlights on it because of all that yellowish stuff that your headlights look bad. Well, I paid $272 for brand new headlights after I sold my old dirt bike. As soon as I got the bulbs that, the bulbs that were recommended for these damn headlights didn't even fit. I got 5,900K bulbs, white, almost to a blue, but white bulbs. If you look at it from back here, you can't see it because I'm on the wide angle lens, but it looks blue. Those headlights are freaking awesome. Or those bulbs are freaking awesome. The headlights are awesome too, don't get me wrong. But the bulbs that were recommended didn't fit. They didn't fit in there. I was sitting there fooling with one headlight, just one side, the low beam side, for, I don't know, maybe two hours. And I couldn't get the freaking bulb in. I had to end up getting... I had to end up cutting out some of the mount just to be able to get those headlights in there. Or those fucking bulbs, why do I keep saying headlights? All right, one thing that, it, it might be my fault, but it, it's probably not my fault, it's probably just the damn car here. Just give it a second, my head unit's coming on, and it makes this very, god damn it, it's a fucking bug magnet too, how about that? That should be your number three, motherfucker. All right, I'm gonna shut off the air conditioner, Completely. Tell, tell me if you guys can hear this. It's all the way down on one. Do you hear just that, that buzzing? It's on Bluetooth, so it doesn't have any sound going to it right now. But it has this buzzing sound, and I can't stand it. It goes away when you turn on the music, but if you're not playing music, you have to mute the, the or shut off the damn head unit just to get that I still hear the buzzing so I don't think it goes well it doesn't go away with the muting never mind can you guys not hear that another thing while I'm in here I might as well address number four is that the heater doesn't work what am I supposed to do at when it's freaking 10 degrees below zero and I don't have a heater you know what I actually do is I have a portable heater that hooks right into the wires that are underneath of this thing I'm not 100% sure but uh, had it last winter but I'm not the one to put it in but right up here there was like a little portable heater that uh, would heat the car up in about four hours so you, you need to get up at six you right before you go to bed or something you turn the heater on so your car is warm by the time you wake up I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the car and address something very quickly but this car rusts so easy they pack foam down in here Right, this is this is gonna feed into my next one too. But this they they pack foam in this area right here. This is a brand new fender, by the way, and I had to paint it myself with spray paint, so it's a little bit off, but it's not it's not noticeable. Anyway, they pack foam down in here just so the car will rust. What is that doing other than helping the car rust? Honestly, what is it freaking doing? Nothing. It's not doing anything. My main point with the the rusting thing is that the stock exhaust is shit. This is gonna this is all one this is all one thing that I hate about it. The stock exhaust is shit. I'm not even in the right place right now. But it is starting to rust to shit. 
right? So there's already a hole in it here, and there's a hole in it down here. There's a big hole in it right here. The car wasn't on, so it's not hot right now, but anyway, and the muffler right here, it is rusted to shit, and now I'm gonna have, I'll probably go all the way back to maybe the headers up here. I might just go up to it and then get a full exhaust system that goes back, but I don't know how much money I wanna spend on it. Anyway, what I did do was I scraped off most of the rust and I put this undercoating on to maybe help it not rust, but I doubt that's gonna help. What do you know, we're back in the car again. Something else about the speaker system. This, is, this isn't me either. I have seen this on a bunch of, th they sell this part for expensive just so, just because they know that it's gonna happen, so they sell it to you. But you, you can call it a tweeter, you can call it a cone speaker, but I'm pretty sure it's a cone speaker. But these speakers up here, they blow very, very easily. If you have subs like me, I mean, that's another point. I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. If you have subs like me, I'll put them in myself, by the way. I didn't buy the car like that. If you have subs like me, okay, you turn the bass up a little bit louder than, you know, the, the treble, right? Because you want to hear that. Well, the bass doesn't just come out of the bass or the subs back air. The bass also comes out of all the other speakers. So it blows them very easily. These speakers up here, they can handle it. These speakers back here, they can handle it. I think these are the six by or five by sevens or something. And I think these are the the whatever the hell you want to call it. These cone speakers cannot handle it worth shit. They cannot. They can't do it. Don't even try it. You got to keep them at the stock level and you have to make sure that your subs are hooked in to the head unit. You can't just tap in to the infinity uh, component amp back there like I did to begin with because I blew like three sets of these damn cone speakers. Now it's doing all right. I don't want to jinx it. There's no wood in here, but you know what I mean? All right, so we are on number six. Already we're on six, dude. I could go on this all day. All day I could just talk about how shit, I don't even know. Anyway, the first is first. This thing, I know that I'm the one that put the fucking lift on it. I know that it's kind of my fault, but even before that, the car rides rough. Like, you would think SUV, this is a freaking special edition. Special edition. Jeep Grand Cherokee, right? Limited. You would think that this thing would ride so smooth. It does not. It's bumpy. Also, I bought these tires. They look amazing. They sound awesome on the road because I love that sound. For some reason, that's why I want to be able to hear the... Without the, the stereo on, I'd like to hear the freaking tires on the road. But I can't do that because they're buzzing. But anyway, these tires, they might be cool, but they hold rocks in them like this. Let me make sure you guys can see. All right, look. They, they hold rocks in them like this. And they get to a certain, like I can't even get this out right now. There we go, I almost got it. All right, there we go, I got it out. They hold rocks in it like that, and they'll click going down the road. Like, you'll hear the awesome sound of the tires, but you also hear click, 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 click. And I know that it is that because after I take all the rocks out of all the tires, because I've done that plenty of times, the sound goes away, but it's the rocks in the damn tire. Another thing that I thought I might as well actually show you guys, the school bus is going by right now, so that's another thing that pisses me off. I'm gonna set you guys on the ground out there, and I want you to tell me if you can hear this, all right? Did you hear that? What that is, is when I turn the steering wheel all the way or not even almost all the way. It makes that power steering noise where it says like it makes that sound and I, I can't stand that sound. That's a little thing, but I don't, I really don't like that sound. It makes me feel like the car is shit, but I know it's not. It got inspected, so I think that if that was something that was a big deal with it, they wouldn't have let me get my sticker. The last thing is not a very, a very big thing, but I don't like it. When I have, these 12s on back here. It's 1200 watt amp on the Sony Explode 1200 watt uh, 12s, okay? It thumps the entire car, which I like that, but it rattles things that, it, it makes me think that the car is falling apart because it's rattling random things. But 
it ends up that it's not rattling anything serious. It's like maybe rattling this thing, which I fixed this. I put some uh, carpet right here to keep it from rattling. Same with the uh, license plate and that fixed most of it. But now the back glass is what rattles. For some reason, it doesn't click down all the way. So the, the back glass rattles pretty, pretty good. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a bonus here. One thing I cannot stand, and this is just with any old car, especially white, because you can really see it on white cars. And same with black cars, you can see it really bad on those cars too. But, let me see if I can open this with one hand. I'm not strong enough. All right, there we go. Do you see this, this grime right here? Now I made a video showing you how to get this, this shit off, but I have not had time to finish it. I got, like I started over here, and I started ripping some of that off because it, it is really bad. It's like that right there. I didn't even touch that yet. But I got most of it off like down in here and along here and just this these sides right here. I got these two. And that's about it. But I can't stand that full cars. I can't stand looking at that grind. And the freaking, you can fix sun damage, but you have to do it a lot to get it to freaking stay. And if you, I don't know, armor all it or do something like that, it takes what I do to get rid of the sun damage right off as soon as you wash it. So you got to keep doing it and it, it just gets, it just gets annoying. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I'm watching you. You press that freaking subscribe button. Quit looking at my goddamn act. Thank you guys for watching, honestly. Uh, I really do appreciate all the support I've been getting on this channel. And I just want to say... Even though I said all those things about that car, I love it, okay? It might be because it is my first car, but I love this car to death. I'm already looking for another car, but that's not because I don't like this car or anything. It's just, I want something lower to the ground, better with gas mileage, and just for a project car, you know what I mean? Because I've been spending so much money in this, it's almost to the point where I'm going to have to do engine work to it if I want to do anything else to it. You know what I mean? And I'm not, I don't think I'm going to paint it either because no matter what, it's still going to get mixed and stuff from the tires and the rocks flying up hitting it. So there's no point in getting a paint job or anything like that. But uh, I said it three times already. I might as well say it again. Uh, thanks for watching. And make sure you subscribe. Like this video if you thought that it was entertaining or maybe funny or informative on why not to buy an O2G print check. I would buy an O2G print if I were you. Just saying. But, yeah, anyway, I appreciate you guys watching, and like, and subscribe, and remember, live positive.